Hello guys and welcome to today's video and in this video we're mainly going to be talking about Hurricane Agatha here but before we get into that there's a little spot in the Atlantic I want to talk about here before we move on to Agatha. This is a disturbance here that's going to try to form here in the next you know five or so days here. This is a large and complex area of low pressure that is expected to develop near the Yucatan Peninsula and the Northwestern Caribbean Sea in the next few days. Partially related to the remnants of Hurricane Agatha, which we will talk about here soon, from the Eastern Pacific, this system is forecast to move slowly eastward or northeastward and gradual development is possible by the latter part of this week. So what they're saying is, you know, this has a chance to possibly do something and, you know, once again, I'll be making another video update tomorrow regarding that situation. But regardless of development, locally heavy rainfall is likely across portions of southern Mexico, the Yucatan Peninsula, uh, Guatemala, and Belize through the week. Formation chances is 0% to 48 hours and 40% here in the next five days. So right now, this is just a wait and see kind of, uh, kind of moment with this particular area of interest. All right, so now we're going to be talking about Hurricane Agatha here. Um, as of the... Uh, the 2, 2 p.m. advisory is that it's at 105 miles per hour, and the pressure is about 974 millibars, and it's moving east or northeast at 8 miles per hour. Strong winds, heavy and heavy rain spreading in, inland across Oaxaca. I probably said that wrong. Forgive me if I did. Core of Agatha expected to reach the coast in a few hours. So landfall is pretty much imminent at this point in time. So... It's, it's something that, you know, you can't, if you're in the affected area, it's pretty much too late to get out. I hope most of y'all did get out as the, uh, as this is getting really close to making landfall in the next couple of hours. All right. So here is the, uh, infrared radar here. And as you can see, it did try to make a last minute. It's trying to make a last minute, you know, strengthening phase here before it goes inland here. And as you can see there, let me go to visible, visible satellite here. And let's see if it shows, as you can see right here, you can see in the, the end of the frames here that eye is trying to pop up here. So it's, it's pretty much doing everything that the trends have been, you know, doing the last couple of years It's trying to make a last stitch effort of strengthening before making landfall. And, uh, you know, regardless if this is, I still don't think it's going to reach category three status, but you know, it's, it's making an effort. We gotta, we gotta, I don't want to give it an A for effort because that would be bad for Mexico. How about we give it an F for effort? Okay. So, you know, with all, with all that out of the way, you know, have to, I'm not making light of the situation. You know, I'm just lightening the mood a little bit because, you know, Mexico is just not in a good, good way right now. Anyways, as you can see, the uh, NI is trying to clear yeah, in this instant. As you can see, it's literally miles away from landfall here. So, you know, watch out. All right, so here we're not going to particularly look at the 850 millibar level or the 10 meter winds because at this point, everybody knows what they're going to get when it comes to at least that portion of the, uh, you know, the hurricane. But what, the main concern right here for me at this current point in time is the flooding rain that could be, you know, coming with the system here. So we're going to go out through time a little bit. There's 12 hours and, you know, we'll go out to about 30, about, eh, about 42 hours. That's two days, two days out, 48 hours. And as you can see, you know, parts of the Southern coast of Mexico was looking to pick up like 10 to six, uh, you know, 10 to 16 inches of rain here. And that's going to be, you know, tremendous for flooding concerns. You know, not only do you have, you know, the pounding on the surface of the, uh, the earth in that, you know, area, but you also have the pounding of the rains coming down in the mountains, too, where, you know, it goes in this, this, you know, streams, creeks, you know, rivers, ponds, you know, that's just going to exacerbate the, uh, the situation. And this is going to be causing some flooding concerns along with the winds, the storm surge, and everything else that comes with a high, you know, mid to high end category two hurricane. So, you know, there's that. 
it, here comes the European. This is 12Z, so this is new. So right now, you know, European is painting. It's painting a better picture in terms of rainfall, but it's not going to be. It's still not going to be good for any stretch of the imagination here. As you can see, European here is looking at you know eight to ten inches of rain, and eight to ten inches of rain is still a lot of rain. So. You know, it's, it's the same as the GFS, you know, pounding on the surface and then, you know, rain's coming down from the mountains. You know, there's just gonna, it's, there's no getting around the flood threat here when it comes to rainfall when it, with uh, Hurricane Agatha. So, you know, just stay home. If you, if you weren't able to evacuate, just stay home. Or stay put into whatever safe place that you guys are in. You know, if you do have to venture out, which I, you know, I highly recommend you don't do that. You know, just remember the saying, turn around, don't drown. That applies anywhere and everywhere around the world, not just where the saying came from. So, you know, with that being said, you know, just take care of yourselves and, you know, hunker down. And you know it's gonna make it's gonna make landfall, and it's gonna meet those ten thousand foot ranges. So it's probably gonna die down w relatively quickly. So hopefully the you know we don't stay in this for too long. At least when it comes to the w w winds and surge, they're probably with it. All right. With that being said, this was just a short little update. You know, it's it's about to make landfall, just so we can't go over really soundings or anything else like that. You know, just a short little final update for you guys. You know, stay safe. And tomorrow we'll be back with some more Atlantic, you know, hurricane season, you know, stuff like talking about the area of interest. All right. Until then, have a nice day.